happy Monday everybody I hope everybody's doing great I'm back to vlogging I haven't vlogged in ages um, I'm just off into um, the office looking rather cute so I thought I would just um, pop on and say hi I'm gonna catch you guys up um, I've got a crazy day today but I really want to get back to vlogging and living my bestest life and all of that life has been lifing for me and I kind of didn't want to vlog because the last clip of that I vlogged um, was after um, the petrol crisis and quite frankly that clip was just I it was just not good I was effing and swearing I've never been so angry and upset and everything in all my life and people are stupid that's why I came to that conclusion um but so I took a little break regathered myself got myself back on a normal people footing back in the office so I've been doing up fits like because why not I've been in jogging bottoms and loungewear for the best part of 18 months um so yeah so that's what I'm I'm on at the moment I'm off into the office it's absolutely flipping cold um so I'm wrapping up scarfs out hair came out quite nice like this new technique that I've been using to make my curls pop is really making them pop um but yeah let me go into work i need to get on the scabby train <laughs> i don't want to but yeah i'll catch you guys later hello hello hi oh what a day what a day this has been so welcome back to the vlog i haven't vlogged in ages like i said to you guys earlier this morning like i haven't vlogged in ages um i've just not been feeling it life has been lifing and i just had to get my life together and juggling everything i feel like i'm juggling a million things um so at the moment i'm just trying to take it easy and not take on too much but i've currently obviously got work i've got my home life um the kids and everything and then i'm i've also started a um course as well um, um so i'm trying to get through that and i'm a bit behind it actually finishes in two three weeks i was ahead of myself and now i've managed to get myself behind but anyways um work is being work and it's super 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 extra extra busy um so i just don't really have time for myself um hubby went away as well so i was on my own with the kids so that was fun and trying to like navigate um just being that on my own and not ha um ha having him here to help me um but it was half term and uh, Nova's auntie took her for a few days so that helped and yeah so that's pretty much what's just been going on like life has been life in birthdays have been happening and everything it was fireworks evening um at the weekend and um, we tried to take the kids to go um to see the fireworks and when I tell you I've never seen a queue like it so we went to um not our local one because that one was cancelled and that's the one that i like to go to um but it's been cancelled the last two years so i don't know if they'll be putting it on again this one was actually a ticket event but you couldn't buy tickets in advance we was going to go early and go and see like the six o'clock show because they do a kids one um where it's like got like like it's it's a, basically it's a quiet show so it's not got all the loud bangs and everything super for kids and Roman is only one, but he was actually fine, absolutely fine with it. But anyways, I digress. We went to go and watch the fireworks. The queue was down the street, around the street, around the street, back down the street, around. It was it was a mental. I've I've literally I, I've never seen a queue like it, and I don't know. It was just mental. Anyways, we was waiting. We had about. 30, 20 20 25 30 minutes before the fireworks were due to go off and we were just like there is no way they're getting all these people in um and lo and behold standing in the queue then there are people coming back down the queue saying they're not letting anybody else in it's um full to capacity 
but as we was walking the show started going off so we just like perched on this um corner of the road and um yeah the kids watched the fireworks from the street which saved us 20 quid we wasn't well in the mix like we wanted to be and to be fair like it was probably really rammed in that park so probably a good idea that we didn't get in i just realized i just put my day moisturizer on and that's not what i was supposed to be putting on um so yeah that's what we did this weekend and then i pulled all my nails off because you know what what was better than actually getting them taken off properly anyways my nails had been on for far too long they started to come off and then you know when they start coming off and you get that urge to <laughs> and i got the, and i started doing it and one by one they all just started <laughs> all just started coming off um even though i've got the proper stuff to do take my nails off with but anyways i've decided that i'm not going to get um acrylics um i'm not saying ever again but i think it's time for me to start growing my natural nails like i have got actually really good natural nails like if you see my mom's nails like she's got really good nails and my nails grow really really quickly i just like to i like to be fierce i like to have my nails done like um I just need to have my nails done to feel complete. I'm literally, me and my niece are the only two out of like all my sisters um, that actually get their nails done. And we've got a lot of women in our family. And out of my like immediate close family, like me and my niece are literally the only two people that go and get their nails done. Like how is that even possible? But anyways, um, I like to get my nails done. It's one thing I've always liked to do. But I pulled them off and now I look like this, but it's better than, <laughs> what about yesterday um was the day that i picked off the last i literally had nails here and here and then nails here i was like no and i've managed to like do this to both of these nails like i've got i've managed to bruise my nails but anyways i'm having a breakout so i'm having a <laughs> i'll tell you life has been lifing for me that i'm literally feel like like I need to be put back together but I feel much much better now like yeah I'm having a bit of a breakout I'm going with the change in weather that is what's happening um but I've kind of like finally like got a grip I've got my life together <laughs> I feel I feel like I'm organized as long as I plan my day the night before like i've got something that a bill that i need to pay so i need to go and do that today because i was supposed to do that on saturday and this is what happens when i don't write things down um but i think it's just the i think it's just the crossover between everything kind of like everything is going on at the moment and i just needed to slow down um so while hubby was away that's ooh why hubby was away that's what i did i got my basically got my life together i feel like more on an even kill um we've got i've started to set my goals for next year and i want to be really intentional with my goals next year like one of the goals that i set myself like two years ago was to literally be on top of my money and be like be like this gung-ho and just like educate myself and learn where i can make better choices really really like focus on my budget and like stop overspending and the last two years i've now got i literally track every single last penny that comes in, in my account i have got it on this spreadsheet and i've been tracking it for the last two years and now i'm in a position where i want to really 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 like focus on buying a house um I just I just feel like that I'm at that stage like I've had my kids now um I'm my career is kind of like in between because I'm currently like trying to study to where I want to be um so yeah that's what I'm doing at the moment um so yeah there's a lot of things going on and so one of my intentional goals is I'm going to review all like my budget my spending and everything and we're going to get this shit on lock um so for two years i've been monitoring it monitoring it getting myself in a good position paying off any debt credit cards all of that cars paid off like everything like we've got everything like under lock and key um so i don't police 
um hubby's money like i police our joint money um i police my money like he's going out of fashion i don't police it very well because i like to shop um i'm, I'm trying to compo control my impulses so yeah I don't know where i am going with this but this is supposed to be like a high like i'm back um we've got a busy week everything is happening um work is working but anyways i finished with the day my hair came out really really good i just took this hair band to like put it away while i put the kids to bed but my curls be papping look at them really really nice so i'm just gonna wrap my hair not with a headband because that will not make my pearl Carl's drop tomorrow um I've got swimming with baby boy we've got our lesson tomorrow and he loves to splash and wet my hair I think I might need to invest in a swim cap um but also I don't want to squish my curls so I'm in two places but anyways let's put my headscarf on um I hope everyone has been doing well I hope everyone is not feeling as crazy and discombobulated as I have been um I kind of do hope that some people have felt that way as well so that I don't feel like a weirdo that has just been like letting life happen to her. Um, I don't know what I, w I think I was listening to a podcast or I read it somewhere and it was it was so somebody was saying this woman was saying I don't remember who sorry um, and she's saying you need to stop letting life stop letting life live life live you see I can't even remember. Like, basically, what she was trying to say is that your life is for the taking and don't let life just happen. That's it. Don't let life ha just happen to you. Like, you can, you have got the choices to make it. Oh, that was it. It was the Receipts podcast. And they were talking about, basically, like, do you think your story has been written and then you're just living it? Or do you think that you're writing your story and it changes? And I definitely think that your life is um not you are writing your life so every choice every decision that you make it takes your life into a certain um direction like i always sometimes think about oh if i went to sixth form where would i be and a lot of chain reaction when i start thinking about that is that i wouldn't have met my husband i wouldn't have had my kids i may have had my kids but they wouldn't be what they look like because that path i don't think i would have ended up on a career path i probably would have ended up at uni um yeah and it's just mad and i would love to have seen what that life looks like like i love my life like don't get me wrong don't you not get it twisted like i love my life but doesn't like doesn't somewhere like deep down inside people just think like what if i just did that one little thing and i think that my one little thing definitely would have been if i had gone to sixth form instead of college i think college was the best thing for me i was a rebel without a cause and basically a problem with authority i needed to get out of there i needed a little bit more onus on my life but i think when i look back at that i don't i also think that that was something to do with at being at home like my mom wasn't overly strict but i think that just that need to rebel was innately in me and i think that that's um, school I was just like f this get me out of here I want to go and live in the real world um and kind of one thing that I'm trying to get my daughter to um embrace is being young and not trying to grow up too fast but no one could have told me any differently Let's see I think I'm gonna go swimming like this I'm gonna change it to a headscarf tomorrow I'm gonna go swimming like this and hopefully he won't drown my hair too much anyways um this is really really random i'm i'm really sorry um i'll come back with some normal things and vloggy things um yeah that's it hello hello happy wednesday happy hump day hope everybody is having a good day it's miserable here it's raining well not really raining it's kind of like doing this spitting thing so it's not even real rain um I didn't vlog yesterday because I don't know what kind of tiredness hell took over my body, but I've never felt exhaustion like it. I was so flipping tired, like everything was draining. I did swimming in the morning, 
with a uh, baby boy and then working and working flat out um i've got deadlines coming out of my hair but luckily one is literally just is just come off my plate and the event is tomorrow so it's done um but it was very very stressful and i've never seen my emails i like it um excuse that yeah um the phone decided to go for a little wonder um i don't think i'm even straight now sorry anyways um yeah so i didn't know tiredness like it. i felt i felt tired but all my days yesterday it was a slog um didn't end up cooking or anything just was like i want to watch bake off and i want to go to my bed um so that's what i did um today very productive day deadlines getting ticked off i had a reading today i've been waiting to have this reading for i think about two months and i really just needed clarity in some direction and um, and that's why i wanted the reading and i feel like i'm becoming a little bit more spiritual in my self um and i've been exploring that um and i wanted a reading i had i've had one reading before um after my dad died and that was like 10 years ago um, and I haven't had one since and I just felt like I just needed some direction you know when you feel like you're in that kind of limbo um that's how I've been feeling um it was very very clarifying very very interesting very wild at times apparently um one of the things she said is that I could sing <laughs> I was like you have not heard me singing and she was like not like in tune or anything I was like all right great thanks for that um but she was basically saying um that when I sing it's like a healing um in myself and I'm telling you I when I'm in the car on my own in the house on my own I will ramp up the volume and I'm dancing and I'm like feeling the vibe so I get I got it um so much she was like does that is was that making any sense um so it was very very interesting um my spirit guide came into the room and it was not the person who I thought would be guiding me through life that is for sure um so yeah she just said some really good things that helped me like focus like on my career um she said some things like you find something that you want to do and then because it's not working or it's not happening fast enough for you you just throw it aside and you don't do it and she said she can see me working with people and stuff like that and everything that I'm thinking that I want for my future it was kind of like tick 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 and um yeah I'm really happy about that and that's really given given me um the clarity that I needed to push forward with what I wanted to do so I'm in the right direction so yes yeah, so that's what I've been doing today finish some more work I'm just about to do the school run and then back to do some more work another uh, nursery run back home i want to clean do some cleaning today um yeah and just chill um so yeah that's what's been happening today very very productive um so i hope everyone's having a good one um i actually was outside in my garden yesterday and i was like oh it's been so nice that it hasn't been raining or wet England, talk to yourself, please. Um, this is people here for other national rail services. Also, change here for London Underground. Good morning, good morning. Ah, I'm in the office. I've got a big event today for the team. Oh, wish me luck. Good morning, good morning. How's everybody? Happy Saturday. I oh, hope everybody had a great Friday. It's the weekend. I'm really excited today. I'm going to a brunch. Um, I can't remember what type of brunch it is, but I know it's a bottomless brunch. You've got margaritas. I listen. I just stopped at margaritas. I was like, yep, yeah, sold. I'm there. So I'm going to um brunch today. Um actually weirdly enough well, not weirdly enough because they're actually really nice ladies there's ladies that i met on the internet um we're called hot girl socials and um we like to socialize i have actually this is actually only my second one that i'm going to i actually haven't been to um any of the other meetups um some obviously different interests you know different folk different strokes with different folks um and others i just haven't been able to go to so yeah i'm really looking forward to today i'm really looking forward to chilling with some really really nice girls um yeah and just having a laugh and having some fun and having some good 
alcohol in my system um so i'm just getting ready now i'm gonna go quickly run and do a food shop before i go stock the house up so i don't need to worry um about the week and what we're eating so yeah thought i'd pop on so do a hi The week ended really, really well um, for me. Um, I was extremely, extremely busy at the start of the week, like I told you, and I managed to get every single thing that I wanted done. Um, so I'm well happy about that. And ah, yeah, I hit. I'm gonna bring you along to brunch. And see ya. So today, this is today's bit hair i did really a nice got all my curls out i got this uh chocolate bodysuit from zara and then let me just flip it these gorgeous trousers the wide fit trousers this was actually the patricia bright edit from amazon a few years back really really nice and comfy and then just the air forces that's it that's today's fit Keep me on bang. So here's today's fit. And we're off to brunch. I'm gonna go and leave now. So, mm -hmm. I'm ready. Eleven. 